What can help this new under-eye bagginess, mailer bags? I'm desperate for a fix, or at least an improvement. This all started after volume injection under the eyes, or so I thought. I had that dissolved, then later Bellatero injections helped significantly for about five months. Now, I recently had Restylane and Silk on under eye area, which appeared to help for about two weeks, but now seems to have exacerbated the situation. I wear my reading glasses all the time to help camouflage. I was wondering if volume in the apples of cheeks would help. I realize it won't correct, but maybe improve. I'm 58 years old. Thank you so much. Thank you for your question. You're 58 years old, and you describe in your questions, uh, in the question you submitted, the, a series of challenges you've had with injectable hyaluronic acid fillers in the eye area to help the appearance where you've had a couple of challenges such as getting an injection, having it dissolved, getting another injection, and now you're dealing with this kind of appearance of malar bags and you're asking about um, augmentation in the adjacent area. Well, certainly I can assist you with this question. I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and a fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. And in hyaluronic acid fillers is a big part of what I do to help people with the appearance of their eyes and their face. So I can certainly recognize very well your frustration. And it is, um, it is something that you're in good company with because a lot of people have gone through exactly what you're going through right now. You see, the challenge with fillers, and I think one of the challenges that w is kind of not appreciated by um, particularly doctors who, d who are, like say, skin doctors or dermatologists or non-surgical physicians, is the concept of volume correction in, on, on, in soft tissue. And my, the, the reason I, I'm saying that is that in theory, the idea of filling where there is hollows makes sense. But what is limiting a lot of times is the structural integrity of the tissue. So I, I, there, are, there are several dermatologists in our, in our, in our city in, in Manhattan, and, uh, as well as Long Island, who believe that a youthful appearance is smooth skin and they plump people very aggressively. And unfortunately, that makes people look soft and lumpy and irregular. Now, the point of saying that is that what they didn't appreciate is that the person's skin can, can't take that much, and it doesn't, the material doesn't stay in a way they want in the volume and in the configuration that they want. So that leads me to thinking about this in a more global way. When you understand that at 58 and with your skin type, you're dealing with the realities of certain elements of facial aging. And the big element that I think is significant for you is volume loss. And volume loss begins at the structural level, at the skeleton. So bone, muscle, fat, soft tissue is diminishing. So you're, 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 I think you're on the right track. And what I would probably do to assist you um, or assist someone, someone like you in my practice is I would consider a method of using the most solid structure on the face, which is the bone structure, and the soft tissue overlying the bone, which is mostly muscle, to provide you with volume. And the concept is structural volumizing. And the method that we use is called a Y-lift. Y-lift is a, is, a, is a method where we apply high, the same hyaluronic acid fillers, but as opposed to putting it just below the skin to try to camouflage or soften transitions of volume loss, it's actually placed under the muscles. Now this is a method that's very specific and very elegant and very effective. 
what we're able to do is restore cheek volume, jawline, and structure in a more global way. And, w and if you think about it, when you have structure everywhere else in a very, in, in, that's more defined, then the under eye areas of hollowing become less of an issue. And you can be conservative and put smaller volumes to correct the areas that you're interested in. When I look at your photos, I notice how there's these kind of wedges of material and that's created not only the volume but probably fluid is being attracted to these areas and resulting in swelling. So if you think about it, there is really um, a, a, a lot of opportunity to try something a little bit different because invariably you've tried something different using conventional thinking um, where one doctor thinks, well, maybe it wasn't the hyaluronic acid that was used prior, let's use something different. Or they think, I'm really good at this, I'm going to inject it in just the right place in the soft tissue. But in the end, I think it's a structural integrity issue, and I think there's an opportunity here. With Y-Lift and structural volumizing, restoring youthful structure actually diminishes the need to micromanage the areas that we typically think of when we think of facial aging, whether it's hollows or lines. You know, the, the tradition of fillers in facial aging is to chase lines. With structural volumizing, what we're doing is restoring structure. So I think that uh, without, without getting more into unnecessary detail, I think you're on the right track. I think that where you're, there will be, there's an opportunity is to try something that's a little bit different, but at the same time, the value of using like a hyaluronic acid filler, as you've already experienced, is that it can be dissolved. Um, I think that there, you're going to get a lot of ideas of different methods, different fillers that are going to be at the skin level. And when, what I'm talking about is really below the muscle level, where the muscle uh, combined with the skin provides a much better balance to this material that can be placed in a, um, just over the bone structure and give you back the definition that is more youthful. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.